Hey all you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI toy review. And in celebration of the new Mandalorian's trailer for the second season on Disney Plus dropping today, I thought I would do a review of Hasbro's brand new Mandalorian 6-inch Black Series figure. This is the second version of the Mandalorian that they've done for this line. It features the character in his more uh, modern uh, Beskar armor that he wore towards the end of Season 1 and will be wearing again in Season 2, at least for part of it. And with that, you also get the new packaging for the Black Series. I believe this figure is part of the first wave that incorporates that new packaging. Now, besides reviewing the Mandalorian figure, I'm going to talk a little bit about that trailer that dropped today. And then I also wanted to show you a cool air crib that you can pick up for your Black Series Baby Yoda figure, since Hasbro did not give that uh, to us with their with their figure. I'm sure eventually they'll get around to doing that, but, but there's actually a cool one out there that you can pick up fairly cheap, cheaply, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But getting back to the Mandalorian figure itself, so like I said, this is incorporating the new packaging for the Black Series line. You've still got the Black Series logo up at the top, the figure clearly displayed, and then the name of the character down below. Now with this, they're color-coded, so with the Mandalorian, and I'm assuming all Mandalorian figures, you will have this yellow uh, coloring on it. And then on the side, you've got the artwork, uh, a little better artwork than what we used to get in the line. And then on the back, you once again have that artwork of the Mandalorian and a brief bio in multiple languages. All right, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. So starting off with the accessories for this figure, so first of all you get his two main weapons, the rifle and blaster pistol that we saw with the previous Mandalorian figure. These are the exact same weapons, the only real difference is you've got a little lighter metallic silver on the weapons. Uh, they used a darker uh, paint on the previous version, same with the pistol, it's the exact same pistol, but you can see it's much shinier, has a, you know, looks more metal-like. Um, with the original one, it was just a darker uh, finish that they used on the paint. But again, for the weapons themselves, it's exactly the same. And then besides the two weapons, you get additionally the jet pack that was not featured with the previous figure. He got this towards the very end of season one. So Hasbro did include that. You've got the three pegs on the backside that'll plug into the figure's back. You've got the two jets. Now you've got these holes on the bottom of the jets. There are no blast effects or anything that they've included. However, if you have, like, say, the Walmart exclusive Black Widow figure that came with the jetpack that had the blast effects, you can actually plug those into this jetpack. So um, they did make it that, you know, you can include uh, blast effects if you have them yourself. Now, supposedly there's a rumored Mandalorian build-up figure, which is likely going to have a bunch more accessories than what we've seen with the previous Mandalorian figure. It's kind of a deluxe figure. I think it might be a Target exclusive, so I wouldn't be surprised if they added things like uh, blast effects and stuff with, with this very similar backpack. Now, the backpack itself, as far as paint detail goes, you know, not a whole lot here. It's just done with a very dark gray color. You do have the sculpting detail and everything. Um, very Mandalorian-like jetpack. Okay, now to put the jetpack on, you can either take the cape off, which is what I would recommend, or you can kind of turn the cape off to the side here. I don't think he wore his cape when he had the jetpack, when he was using the jetpack. You know, Mandalorian, unlike Boba Fett, has a much larger cape he wears, so it's not really conducive to having the jetpack, which of course he didn't have until just the very end of the season. But if you want to keep the cape on, technically you can. You just, again, have to kind of turn it off to the side there. And then you have the three peg holes on the back. You've got the big one in the middle and then these two up here. Now, besides using that for the jetpack, you can also, like with the previous figure, you can take the rifle and it's got the little peg that sticks out and you can plug it in there. Now, with the previous figure, you only had the one hole on the figure, whereas you have two, so you can put the rifle on either side. But the two holes is really made more for the 
the the actual jetpack. Now, one other thing to note: he's got the strap that goes around the back. It is a separate piece. It, there is a hole in the strap, so you're supposed to be able to put the strap over the hole, so you can then either plug the rifle or plug the jetpack in through the strap and then into the hole. I've had a very difficult time getting that hole on the strap to line up with the hole on the back of the figure, so I've just pushed it off to the side. I found that's easier. But what you want to do is you just take it and you just plug it in and it does fit nice and tight once you get it in there. Now, like I said, you can kind of have the cape off to the side like that if you want to keep the cape on the figure. But my recommendation would be just to take the cape off. You can either just pop the head off to take the cape off or you actually can just slide it up over his head. It's really easy and I think it looks better. The jetpack looks better uh, when you actually take the cape off than trying to keep it on there. And here's a look at the rifle attached to the figure's back. Now you can get the rifle on there with the cape just like with the previous figure. The rifle doesn't really hinder the cape and looks pretty good. So that's exactly the same. This is the exact same cape that we got with the previous Mandalorian figure. So if you have that one, you know what to essentially expect in regards to that. And the figure also has the working gun holster for the pistol. It is, again, the exact same holster. This entire strap piece is the exact same as the previous Mandalorian figure, only the color is a little bit different. Now for the Mandalorian figure itself, this is the same figure that we got previously, only with a few alterations to some of the armor pieces. But the figure itself, the arms, the legs, the, the, the torso and everything is the exact same body that we got with the previous Mandalorian figure. Head sculpt as well. Again, you've got some different uh, paint applications and, and, and a little bit of different sculpting details. Though with the helmet, it's actually, I believe, pretty much the exact same helmet, only with some different paint applications to it. But like there are differences with some of the armor pieces. So first of all, the shoulder pads are, are different. Um, you, you have a little bit different sculpting, obviously different colors. You have the little sculpting detail with his new symbol that he got in season one there on the right shoulder. So nice detailing with that. You've got uh, different uh, chest pieces, a little bit, you know, these uh, chest pieces are different between the two figures. But again, the torsos themselves uh, are, are the same, but you do have the different sculpting. And then again, on the back of the figure, it's different because you have the three holes. And then as opposed to the, the previous figure here where you only had the one. So that's different. You even have the same, uh, these bullets or whatever these are, these cartridges down on his right leg, that's all the same. So same detailing here, just again, just different paint applications and everything. Also the right arm wrist gauntlets are different. So those are not the same. The hands are the same, but the wrist gauntlets are, are different pieces. The wrist gauntlets on the left arms are also different. Uh, very similar looking at the bottom of the gauntlets, but you can see there's definitely different sculpting detail on the upper portion of the gauntlet with the new figure. Now the thigh guards on the figure are almost identical. The one on the right leg looks like is exactly the same only with different paint applications. The one on the left leg is a little bit different. It's the same shape, but they've added this little extra sculpting detail with that middle piece, that middle line work there. So that differs a little bit from, from this one on the original figure. Now the Mandalorian figure stands just under six and a quarter inches tall. Now, of course, because it's the same body, same character, both Mandalorian figures are the same height. And here's a comparison of the Black Series Baby Yoda figure. And then here's a comparison with Baby Yoda in his air crib that I've provided for him. Now this wasn't included with the actual Black Series figure. But this is the air crib that Hasbro did for their uh, new Mission Fleet Mandalorian set that has its own Baby Yoda, which is actually a little bit smaller than this Baby Yoda. And the figures in this line generally, they're not six inch scale figures. But this air crib that they gave us in that Mission Fleet line actually works pretty well with, with the uh, Black Series Baby Yoda figure. So you get the little display stand, which is a little bit on the short side. It might be, you know, if you found something a little bit bigger, it just plugs into the bottom there so you could probably find something that's maybe a little bit taller if you wanted to now this thing doesn't close all the way I don't know why they didn't make it you can just kind of put it down like that you can put if you want to have baby Yoda uh, lying in the in the crib 
you can and then you can kind of put this down a little bit again it doesn't completely seal up uh, which would have been nice but but still like I said until Hasbro actually gives us a real black series air crib I think this uh, one from the mission fleet actually works really well and the the Mandalorian set that is included you get the speeder bike the Mandalorian figure the baby Yoda and the air crib and it only costs 10 bucks I picked one up at my local Walmart so like I said it's not terribly expensive and until we get possibly in that upcoming uh, Mandalorian build-up set um, I wouldn't be surprised if they included an air crib in that but if you wanted to fill in until then yeah this is what I would recommend now here's a comparison of Hasbro's Black Series Boba Fett figure now these two are rumored to be meeting up in the second season. There was no indication of Boba Fett in the new trailer. However, it does look like we're going to be returning to Tatooine where we see the Tusken Raider in, in, in the trailer. So uh, I definitely uh, think the rumors of Boba Fett being in season two and probably having that little slight cameo in the first season where we saw the guy walking with the cha-ching, I, I, I think that's going to be Boba Fett. Here's a comparison of that heavy Mandalorian figure that was originally released as a Best Buy exclusive. Here's a comparison of the Cara Dune figure, which will be making a return. This character will be returning for Season 2. And then finally, the IG-11 character, who I do not believe will be returning for Season 2. May he rest in peace. And hopefully Hasbro will get on the ball and start giving us more figures from the Mandalorian TV series. I feel like they really have kind of been uh, slowly giving us figures that at this point we should have more figures from season one. Um, definitely with some new characters. If you caught the trailer, the, the mysterious lady in the cloak, which is being played by WWE superstar Sasha Banks. Some are speculating that that might be some Sabine from the Rebels animated series, a live action version of her. Um, I, I don't know, but uh, she's not. It's definitely not Ahsoka, who will likely be in the second season. But uh, that's definitely not Ahsoka. But uh, I'm sure this is a character that will eventually make its way into the Black series. The articulation is pretty much the same as we saw with the previous Mandalorian figure. But I'll go over it real quick. You can turn the head to the left and to the right. He can look down pretty good, and he can look up decently, and you can pick it the head to the left and the right so the cape limits some of the back movement so if you take that off you get a little bit more I would say a teeny bit more but that's about as far back as you can get the head uh, with this figure and again he does have good uh, head pivot with this one now with the arms you can get the arms out there with the even with the shoulder pads you can get the arms out the shoulder pads are separate pieces made with a rubber material but they're not like articulated or anything so they limit some of the out movement you can rotate the arm pretty good there you get the um, you do not get a bicep swivel you just get the single hinged elbow so you uh, get the rotation there at the elbow and then he can bend his elbow that much you get the rotation with the hands you get the hinges on the hands, so up and down movement you get the midsection joint down here so he doesn't have an actual ab crunch but he can kind of pivot there and he can rotate and he can do back and forth a little bit and to the left and the right again not an actual ab crunch with this one you do not get a waist swivel with this one just that rotation there at the midsection joint he can do the splits about that much his holster limits some of the movement but not too much you can get the leg forward pretty good and you can do the leg out and back you get the thigh swivel you get the double jointed knee so good bending there at the knee you do not get a boot cuff swivel you get the hinges on the feet so up and down movement and you do get ankle pivot with two peg holes on the bottom of the feet Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I would say this is a pretty decent figure. It is not terribly different from the previous Mandalorian figure that we got. Same weapon accessories, just with the added jetpack. Same body with just some slight alterations with some of the armor pieces. And then the biggest difference between the two is just the paint applications. But even though it is virtually the same figure as the previous Mandalorian, I think this new figure does a good job of, of representing the second armor that he wore in the first season and then should be starting off with in season two. So, so, you know, if you're a fan of the character, this is one you're probably going to want to uh, check out. The only reason why I might suggest you hold off is wait and see what Hasbro does with that that rumored uh, Mandalorian build-up figure, which is likely, as I said, going to be some type of deluxe figure where you've got the Mandalorian with a bunch of added accessories that weren't included with the regular release version. So that's going to cost a little bit more. It might be a Target exclusive. That's where the Target store computers is where it's showing up at. 
And we'll probably, if that is coming, if that turns out to be true, we'll probably see it revealed next week during Hasbro's Pulse convention. So, you know, you might want to wait till then. You know, it really just kind of depends on how many different Mandalorians you actually want to buy. But if we're going to get that second one with the added accessories and everything, that might be the version that you want to go with. Now, this figure is hitting shelves. I managed to get lucky and got mine at my local Walmart. Both my Walmart and Target actually had gotten this wave in at the same time. But when I went into Target, somebody had already grabbed the Mandalorian figure. So I went over to Walmart and was able to get it there. Also, places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store, do have it up for pre-order. So you can definitely get it and not have to worry about paying secondary market prices. Now, also, if you want a cool air crib for your Baby Yoda, your Black Series Baby Yoda, I do highly recommend you check out that Mission Fleet one. Again, I'm sure Hasbro will eventually get around to giving us one, but if, if you don't want to wait, you know, I think that's a good stand-in, and that set, that entire set only cost about 10 bucks, and it's available at places like Walmart and Target. So thanks for watching today's video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. Stay safe out there, guys. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching today's video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.